Hey everyone, um, Addy Dog and I are here today uh, for a new strengths video. Addy, come back. Um, this is a quarantine video, so we're in our backyard, the place where Addy pees, and I've been peeing a little bit too, just to mix things up. Um, <laughs> so this video is about the seven minute speed legs routine. That's just a kind of an approximation right now. We'll, get, we'll see exactly how long it is. Um, this is because uh, the mountain legs routine that we've done before great for long grinds, really improving your climbing. But when you're doing super high output stuff, we've seen that maybe it's not accomplishing everything it could. So this routine was developed in conjunction with superstar strength coach and running coach, Asher Kiger Henry. I'll have a link to her stuff. Um, and she is the guru. But <laughs> quick warning, my form sucks and I apologize in advance. In fact, I did a previous video with that big heavy 50 pound kettlebell and um, it was horrifying to look at. It was kind of like going to a buffet and I put so much on my plate, it's neither healthy nor safe. Um, so I'm gonna be doing it with a lighter weight today. So start with a, start unweighted, move up with like a dumbbell. Later on you can move up to kettlebells and that sort of thing if you're confident with it. You'll get really sore at first. So there's five different exercises. Um, it's an adaptation of the mountain legs. So we'll start with this. Um, and the first one is just rear lunges alternating legs. So 10 on each leg. Um, I'll, the counts will be approximate. Um, as you're doing these lunges, go back. Um, no need to go all the way to the ground, right to the, near the ground's good. Keep your back with good form. Um, this works, pretty much everything here works the glutes, um, which I think is the area that's most at risk when you're starting to put out tons of power, like um, when you're doing speed, when you're running up hills real fast, that sort of thing. Um, so we're getting there now. Um, even even with this lightweight, my uh, breath is starting to get short, so you could have imagined how much of a horror show it was with the kettlebell. All right, so that's close enough. Um, so we'll put it down, recover for a sec, um, and the next exercise is single leg split squats. Um, that's what this is here for. Um, so these exercises are, I think, one of the best things for runners. Um, really works your glutes and high hamstrings. So get not too far away because you don't want to overextend. Put your leg back, hold up, and do 10 on each leg. So go down near the ground, go down controlled. Um, <laughs> my form is never going to be perfect on these, so look online to make sure you're doing it right. Um, this, I think, was really key in me getting over a long-term hamstring injury. Um, and we've piloted this with a lot of athletes from pros to people just starting out, and they've had great success. All right, so that's about 10, and I apologize if it's not close. All right, so next leg. I always have a little bit worse balance with this one for some reason. Um, almost all over, on cue. So 10 more. Uh, go down controlled, come up controlled on all these exercises. Try to maintain good posture. Uh, these are tough. Definitely do these unweighted first. And definitely don't move up to really heavy weights right away. Um, it took me a while to move up to the kettlebell. And even then, it, <laughs> I sounded like a water buffalo giving birth by the end of the exercise. All right, so that's about 10. Okay, next exercise. Single leg deadlifts. Um, this one will make you so sore at first. For me, the first time I did it, my butt was, like my actual butt muscles were sore for four or five days. So really ease into it. Um, basic routine like that. I, it's made for a kettlebell, but we're doing lighter weights so I don't look too ridiculous. Um, the foot you're working here, keep the knee bent. This other, go down and reach the weight. Other leg back straight as, well, straight as you can get it. And then you lift up and you come to center. You push down and into the ground with this leg and then back. So I do 10 of these. Um, I feel like the worst ballerina in the world trying to push my leg back, but I think that you could imagine I would be the worst ballerina in the world, so it's appropriate. Um, do this super controlled, 10 on each leg. Um, if you're doing heavier weights, you'll need more time bef between sets, and that's good. Or if you're just getting new, new to it, don't rush through it. Um, I said seven minutes, but you know, if it's 10 or 15, that's fine too. Um, try to keep your back straight. I can't really do that because I have some 
uh, some back shape issues, but um, you know, look at this, look at the form online, work with a strength coach, unfortunately quarantine right now, so can't really do that anywhere. Um, and that's about it. Um, that one I think is the most important of all for a lot of people, but really ease into it. Do it unweighted to start. All right. Um, don't know why I changed, give you guys a different point of view, other leg. Again, I have trouble going, I have trouble doing good form on this one, but. So you're pushing into the ground with this leg. You'll really engage your quad with a bent, slightly bent knee. Um, and you'll feel it primarily in the butt, but a little bit all over. It's hard to talk and count. Um, as my past videos have made clear, but I kind of want to, I want to make sure that you see this whole thing through. It's about 10. Okay. So the last exercise, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. Um, make a triumphant return of the 50 pound kettlebell for the last one because it's not, it's not too hard. These are goblet squats. Um, some people like to turn around the gut, uh, dumb or the kettlebell or things like that. So in goblet squats, it's just a normal squat, legs apart, open. I don't like to go down that far. Some people like to go down uh, deep and I don't know how they do it. I would die. So you go down, try to keep your back relatively straight. I go down not quite to 90 degrees myself. Other athletes go down a little further. In general, like just be careful not to overdo anything. These are all bonus. You're not trying to be the Goblet Scott world champion. You're just trying to support your very fast running. So I usually do 15 to 20 of these, which sounds like an impossibility, given the fact that I'm at VO2 max and I'm dying over here. Again, apologize for the form. And you get the idea. So those four exercises, and then you recover for a little bit and you finish it up the same way with mountain legs. This replaces the mountain legs, ideally two times a week on stressful days. I did a long run this morning. So, and then I'm loosened up. And so to replace the mountain legs, the infamous one single leg step ups, unweighted because this is plenty. Um, just do them quick, don't bounce. Um, try to put all your weight over the, the leg that's doing the work. Do anywhere from 20 to 50. Um, I am gonna, I'll probably do 30 right now or something like that. Um, now these have, you know, been done by tons of people from like sky running champions to US national champions and all that sort of thing. The reason that we extended beyond rear lunges and knees as in the mountain legs is it seemed as if there were some, some stones left unturned, particularly with people getting uh, injuries in their hamstrings and butts and hips. So you'll really feel this. It feels almost exact identical to climbing up a hill. So that's perfect. Um, switch legs. Um, do this in replacement of the mountain legs two times a week. Then you can add the normal mountain legs once or twice a week. Um, and again, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to ease into all these things. Um, the first time I did it unweighted, I was so sore. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was actually really embarrassing. I could barely even get up at night to pee. Um, and I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter than I usually might so that I don't die on camera. Something no one needs to see at this tough time on all of us. So that's the speed legs routine. Um, basically, it'll fuel faster running. It'll support that, keep you healthy. And hopefully, after you adapt to it, really give you an opportunity to build up strength as you increase weight, unlike the mountain legs where you're a little bit capped out by the exercises themselves. So, Addy, come here. Come on. Um, thank you all so much. Addy and I really appreciate you. And it's a really tough time, but just know you're loved and you're amazing. And Addy Dog and I both love you almost as much as Addy loves peanut butter puffins from Amelia Boone. Um, 
very special puffins right here. So thank you all and have an amazing day.